All right, y'all, what's going on? What's popping? Welcome back to another Power Stroke Rig video here. Um, blue truck is out of storage. Black truck, summer wheels and tires are on. Uh, we are currently putting the wheels and tires on this Larry Hoover. Look at that, man. I should just go drive around like that. What y'all think? Not having it. Got the wheels and tires right here. Um, but anyway, blue truck's out of storage. We're ready to get after it. Uh, in this video today, this is the SPE injector return line repair kit that they offer that I'm going to be installing on the blue truck, which is a little different than the black truck. The black truck, I think you guys seen the video for that. It's a little guy. Blue truck, a lot bigger piece, two ports on the fuel filter, three ports on the 2017. So we're going to show you that. Um, we're just out hanging out, shooting the shit today, getting after some shit and uh, get this thing all ready. Got the air hose, got the, you know, the jack and all that good stuff. And we're going to throw these wheels and tires on and we'll kind of get into the video, show you what's up. So thanks for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share, do the whole nine. Yep. So this is the 11 to 16 injector return repair line kit. So basically you got this all billet aluminum. You got this guy right here. We got a plug so you could tap in if you want. We're not going to tap into nothing. Um, we got this part, which this is the fix. This is the billet uh, push connect fitting right here that I'm going to show you about. That's a fix. Um, this is that it's going to go on the end right here. It's going to retain your factory fuel line connection that's going to go on there. And these parts are all replaceable too, so in case anything else happens. But uh, before we do anything, show you on the truck. Got the wheels and tires on. Definitely looking a lot better. Um, yeah, I miss this thing. So yeah, we're going to show you up here basically what we're doing. So if you guys watched the video on when I did the black truck one, that fuel filter has three ports, which now you know, I actually have a manifold there now because I got rid of the fuel filter. I got the CAT system on, you know, SP, blah, blah, blah. So this guy, this is why it's different. There's only two ports. So that line, the return line down here, that you could see, that's a plastic fitting right there that normally breaks. So this is the whole piece we're gonna replace right here. So we'll take this off. We'll retain this factory connector line right here it'll push on the sp will push on we'll have the main line coming down and then we'll have the plug on the back side so and honestly this is this is a good fix to do before you have a problem um and it's pretty pretty cheap uh i don't hold, don't hold me on the price but 50 bucks 40 bucks 60 bucks somewhere around there on their website um it's definitely like a sore dick you can't beat it so we're gonna cut this and all we're doing is basically putting everything on and we're just gonna cut this little line right here we're gonna push on to the new uh whoa my creeper moved me onto the new uh fitting so yeah we'll show you this little fix real quick and uh yeah all right so everything's out of the bag right now um so these two fittings are o-ring seal uh it's three quarter inch wrench you want to tighten these down um so this goes on the bottom this goes right here, and then this plug, which is an Allen, this is going to go on the back side. Um, they don't say anything about thread sealant or thread tape, uh, but just in case, I think I'm going to put some thread tape on it, see what it does. And, of course, you get the full 360 clamping mechanism that will go onto the hose that's going on here. So, we'll tighten that down with a quarter-inch ratchet. Again, you don't want to get too crazy. Um, second thing, make sure the truck is uh, not pressurized, the fuel system. So don't just do this after you just get home from driving to the old White Castle, you know, and you're like, hey, I think I'm going to replace this part. So don't disconnect them yet, but I'll wait a little while. I put some rags and we'll disconnect that and we'll show you it on the bench once we assemble the other one. Look at that piping kit, by the way. Ugh. Woo. I think this thing needs a piping kit next. All right, guys. So this is what we're operating with here. 
So this one, as you know, if I would focus, you just pinch this tab and there's one on the other side. Pinch that, pull it off. So this line that we're retaining, this tab right here, you pinch where both my fingers are and you lift this up. If you see how it's lifted up right here. And then you push down on this and pull it off. So that would be that. We're gonna snip this line as close as we can uh, right to where this plastic stuff is. And then we'll put it on the new guy. But we're gonna take this off and show you a little comparison here. So, yeah. All right, now this is what we're left with. So this hose right here, like as I did in the, the black truck, snipped it, make sure the plastic quick connect is not in the hose anymore. Make sure you snip it past that. And then we'll just push connect this one on to the new one. Um, and I'll show you a little comparison right now, just so you guys can see. So here is the old uh, injector return line repair kit fitting. And this is what I was saying on the truck. You guys know if you're doing your fuel filters, just the push connect right here. But this is the plastic part that comes down, which here's the new SP1 fully assembled. And here's your two differences right here. If we can see that pretty good. This is billet aluminum, the whole thing. This is plastic. This is known to break right here. So this is the problem child. Um, like I said, I put everything together. O-ring seal, O-ring seal. Put some thread tape on the plug back here. Excuse the diesel fuel on my hands a little bit there, but this is retains the same pushing on and off connection right here. So this is what we're going with, and this is what we had right here. So we're gonna show you putting on the truck, which is just connecting in, and we already snipped the hose. We'll push it on here, and we'll use that clamp, tighten it down. Bam. All right, everybody, so that is it. That is the quick, easy install right there. So I know I didn't show putting it back on, but if we get down here, you see the clamp? So I put the, put the clamp on the line before you push it on, obviously. Push the line up all the way. Clamp, use a quarter inch ratchet with a seven millimeter socket. Uh, don't go crazy with it. Just tight, snug, you know? Um, and then I push this on. So like I said, you push, get it on all the way over the hump, push down on this tab, make sure, uh, make sure it's not going anywhere. And then same with this guy, the new SP, just push down in here, push it over the tab, you're good. So now we're gonna start it up. Before we start it up, I'm sorry, we're gonna purge purge the fuel filter you know get it all filled up make sure there's no leaks yeah so that's a pretty pretty easy install right there all right she's a filler up no leaks i think we're looking dialed in go cycle a key switch a couple more times and we should be uh good start it up running dialed in i see no leaks Nothing. Nope. That's it, y'all. Another good install. A lot of SPE everywhere. All right, everybody. So that's the uh, SPE injector return line repair kit on the 11 to 16 models. 17 and up. I did that uh, a month or two ago. A little quicker, but they're all easy installs. So um hope you like this video any questions comment below tap that like button subscribe button thanks for stopping by um a lot of projects coming up so on the uh toolbox got a big old cat filter over there oil filter from spe so we're gonna do some stuff here in the next week uh, i don't know which truck yet but one of the trucks um i'm gonna do some color matching on this one this year bumpers grill mirrors etc etc um you guys want to see me do that i'll film taking everything apart and my little journey for my paint guy my powder coat slash sandblast guy bounce back and forth between them guys um but yeah so thanks for watching hope this helped and we'll see you soon